Hello everyone, in this short video we'll take a quick look at Tenshree's enhanced cloning and snapshot features. Let's begin by looking at a simple example of what an administrator commonly wants to do. Select one or more source or gold VMs. Use management tools such as the vSphere client to tell vCenter you want to create a snapshot or some number of clones. We are specifying clones in this example. The new VM clones are quickly created and are available for use. Unfortunately, what administrator often gets are VMware's native snapshots and clones, which can be prohibitively slow when using traditional storage, or they must deploy an expensive and complex storage architecture in order to achieve satisfactory performance. Traditional storage systems, even those which may employ VAAI, impose storage-centric complexities and constraints on virtualization. Even when best practices are followed, IT departments can be heavily strained when storage isn't a natural fit for virtualization. Tentry's purpose-built storage for virtualization and our vCenter and VAAI integration can further accelerate your virtualization infrastructure by seamlessly offloading the snapshot and cloning functions off of your ESX servers and into our lightning-fast VM stores. Starting with our popular Tentry dashboard, which presents a powerful and yet simple view of the VM store's utilization, and the VM trends on the system, we can view the VMs on the VM store by selecting the Virtual Machines tab. Right-clicking on a VM opens a pop-up menu, which for our purposes includes the snapshot and cloning options. By further navigating to the snapshots menu item, we can create a snapshot schedule for this VM or create manual or named snapshots. The VM store's tight integration with vCenter ensures that your crash-consistent or VM-consistent snapshots work exactly as you would expect. A key point to remember when considering snapshots is that with Tentry, snapshots are truly VM-specific. The efficient application and data management flexibility without the complexity or baggage inherent to legacy technologies is incredibly powerful. You can create per-VM snapshot schedules independent of other VMs and without any storage, LUN, and file system configuration limits. In all of these cases, we are free to focus entirely on the VMs. Next, let's use cloning to create some new VMs. Notice that when we open the Create New VM dialog that the current state of the VM, as well as a list of snapshots for this VM, are available as selections. Selecting Current State will automatically create a new snapshot for which you can specify a specific name, or use a conveniently generated name, as shown here. You can specify the number of clones that you wish to create, and you may also specify your VMware customization templates from vCenter if desired. Once you click the Clone button, the new VM or VMs are quickly created and are ready for use. The VM store will update your vCenter inventory automatically. From vCenter, we can immediately boot and access the new VMs we just created. Last, but certainly not least, our VMware VAAI integration allows you to use the Clone Virtual Machine Wizard to create a clone from within the vSphere client. Choosing either one of these two easy-to-use methods, from the Tintry user interface or from the vSphere client, yields the same end result, a new VM created in a flash.